I'm Dr. Helen Chersky. I'm a research fellow at University College London, and I'm a physicist. I study bubbles in the ocean. To get to where I am, stubbornness and hard work have definitely been numbers one and two. Um, you've always got to create opportunities for yourself and make them work when you get them. So a lot of it is not just about finding an opportunity, but making the most of whatever comes along. And being interested, I've taken every opportunity going, whether I thought it was going to be useful or not, because everything comes in useful in the end. So having a broad knowledge base and being interested in lots of different things takes you to a lot of new interesting places. You've got to like variety to do this. So I have always travelled a lot and you learn something from every new trip. So that, so if I go to sea on a ship for a month, it's usually a month, um, it's a relatively self-contained period of time and I just have to make sure I do the planning for it. Uh, and it's interesting, there's always new things to learn. And for the science, I like the balance between the two. I like that um, I get some time thinking about how to communicate and some time thinking about how to do science better because although they're different they are both intellectual pursuits and they both require a lot of thought and because I like variety I'm very happy doing a bit of one and a bit of the other. I've never noticed any discrimination as a female scientist. My attitude to it is that if I do the job well it will be recognised and that's the basis on which I do things. So I don't anticipate problems, I go into situations and say look I'm enthusiastic, can I do this or I've done this, look at what I've done and if I assume there isn't going to be a problem, I think there isn't usually a problem. So my attitude to it is that you have to you have to demonstrate that you can do something and do it well and if you do that you've done what you can do. The thing that stops you is yourself and a lot of people stop themselves from doing interesting things or from doing what they want to do because they think they shouldn't and there is no you know there is no shouldn't if you want to do it or if you're interested in do it in doing it then get on and do it. Nothing is stopping you. So when I lived in, I went to Canada to work as a physicist for a bit and I just decided I wanted to go and work in Canada and I found a way to do it. And self-limitation is the biggest thing that holds people.